and in all things that I have said unto you take ye heed, and make no mention of the name of other gods, either let it be heard out of thy mouth. Three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee, at the time appointed in the month of Beb, for in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou sowest in the field, and the feast of ingathering, at the end of the year, when thou gatherest in thy labors out of the field. Three times in the year all thy males shall appear before the Lord God. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, either shall the fat of my feast remain all night until the morning. The choicest first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in its mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee by the way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Take heed of him, and hearken unto his voice. Be not rebellious against him, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed hearken unto his voice, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee, and bring thee in unto the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Canaanite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their doings, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and break in pieces their pillars. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. None shall miscarry, nor be barren, in thy land, the number of thy days I will fulfill. I will send my terror before thee, and will discomfit all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. And I will send the hornet before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate, and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. By little and little I will drive them out from before thee, until thou be increased, and inherit the land. And I will set thy border from the Red Sea even unto the sea of the Philistines, and from the wilderness unto the river. For I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and thou shalt drive them out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me, for thou wilt serve their gods, for they will be a snare unto thee. And unto Moses he said, Come up unto the Lord, thou, and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near unto the Lord, but they shall not come near, either shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the ordinances, and all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord hath spoken will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord, and rose up early in the morning, and builded an altar under the mount, and twelve pillars, according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent the young men of the children of Israel, who offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood, and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. And he took the book of the covenant, and read in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that the Lord hath spoken will we do, and obey. And Moses took the blood, and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold the blood of the covenant, which the Lord hath made with you in agreement with all these words. Then went up Moses, and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet the like of a paved work of sapphire stone, and the like of the very heaven for clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel he laid not his hand, and they beheld God, and did eat and drink. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount and be there, and I will give thee the tables of stone, 
and the law and the commandment, which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up, and Joshua his minister, and Moses went up into the mount of God. And unto the elders he said, Tarry ye here for us, until we come back unto you. And behold, Aaron and her are with you. Whosoever hath a cause, let him come near unto them. And Moses went up into the mount, and the cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moses entered into the midst of the cloud, and went up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount forty days and forty nights. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they take for me an offering. Of every man whose heart mocketh him willing ye shall take my offering. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them, gold, and silver, and brass, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram skins dyed red, and sealskins, and acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them. According to all that I show thee, the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the furniture thereof, even so shall ye make it. And they shall make an ark of acacia wood. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, within and without shalt thou overlay it and shalt make upon it a crown of gold round about. And thou shalt cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in the four feet thereof, and two rings shall be on the one side of it, and two rings on the other side of it. And thou shalt make staves of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put the staves into the rings on the sides of the ark, wherewith to bear the ark. The staves shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I shall give thee. And thou shalt make an ark cover of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And thou shalt make two cherubim of gold. Of beaten work shalt thou make them, at the two ends of the ark cover. And make one cherub at the one end, and one cherub at the other end. Of one piece with the ark cover shall ye make the cherubim of the two ends thereof. And the cherubim shall spread out their wings on high, screening the ark cover with their wings, with their faces one to another. Toward the ark cover shall the faces of the cherubim be. And thou shalt put the ark cover above upon the ark, and in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. And there I will meet with thee, and I will speak with thee from above the ark cover, from between the two cherubim which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. And thou shalt make a table of acacia wood. Two cubits shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, and make thereto a crown of gold round about. <laughs>